Oh, this is really official. Oh my god, this is really official. This is insanely difficult to get. Insanely difficult to get. Your hot take is that Fnatic won't get first in Group A. That is absolutely correct. They will not get first in Group A because DRX will get first in Group A. So yeah, that's that's a good shout by you. Second, now they could get second. They could get second, but they'll do it. They'll actually do it. I, I want to pick crew there, but I can't. I don't have the balls. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to so bad. And my prediction, whoever wins this event is gonna be, I'm gonna say like top two of this team in this event. There's like no way that whoever wins this event is a dog abyss team. There's no way. I do think crew could end up getting out of this group. They definitely have the skill to do it. I don't think they've cooked enough with their comps. Like, I don't think they've shown me like that they can flex across some of these other duelists as well as I initially thought with Kesnit. They lost a little bit of the cohesion they had in split one on this new patch with like the double initiator plays. And maybe that could be with losing Klaus. Group B, it is nearly impossible for me to not pick Gen G here. Like, it would be, it would be like me being cheeky if I did, picked anyone but Gen G as the first seed. I wouldn't bet against it. So, you absolutely have to take them there. Second, mm. Heretics have struggled surprisingly a little bit more lately ever since shanghai they had that like post event haze i haven't looked as good on like some of the neon comps sentinels had a slight resurgence perhaps a dead cat bounce <laughs> it's like uh they look pretty flat against 100 thieves bustio said that sentinels will not make it out of groups because 100 thieves was and they beat Sentinels. So the words of Bustio, not me. Sen got destroyed by us and we were bad. We were playing terrible and we destroyed Sen. Sen is not winning. I'm sorry. And I will trust my fearless leader. I will trust him. All right, <laughs> who's getting third here? Crew, Billy Billy. Who's getting third here? Sen, Sen are gonna tear up FPX. FPX might get out of groups, but I don't think they beat Sentinels to get out of groups. I don't think that happens. I think Sentinels, like their style, would cause some problems for FPX. Because Sentinels can bounce off a lot of bullshit very, very well. Honestly, I'm even tempted to put Sentinels in second over Heretics. It's just that Boostio told me it's not happening. Talon is definitely a team that could blindside us here. Primmy, crazy fucking duelist. There's not a lot of footage with this new lineup. So... This is scary as f Vitality. Obviously safe having like a crazy playoffs to even get them here. This team is fucking super revitalized. I like some of the stuff Frost has cooked up over there for Talon. I do feel like they could do that. Honestly, dude, I'm a Talon believer. I'm a f Talon believer right here. I'm gonna do it. If this were like a bet, I'd probably favor Vitality. I trust Frost to come out with a good game plan. He's had some time to cook. He's pretty good at prepping in these scenarios. I think they have a pretty good squad. I'm worried about the players shrinking under the pressure on Talon. That's definitely a worry of mine. This doesn't feel like a smart play to not put Vitality through, but I'm gonna go with it. Paper Rex have not looked as good this year as maybe past, but they still have a ton of skill on that team and they still cook up the craziest shit and you don't want to play them in groups g2 might be the most shrouded up team at this tournament they are a f nightmare to play against if you have a hole in your game at all like if you have any holes in your game josh rt will find them and you he will f pick them apart valen is such a good mid-rounder right now can Icy hang with these duelists in this group chat? Look at the duelists in this group. We're talking Hong Kong. We're talking CNED. We're talking something. Jing, Forsaken. Like, we're talking some of the best duelists in the world are in this group with Icy. Like, this is a big test. It's a really big test. Do I think G2 can take PRX in the opener? 
I think if this match happened second and G2 had some footage to work with, I would trust them. I think playing PRX in the opener is terrifying. Like, they are going to do shit that G2 couldn't have even imagined happening in this game. I got to take Paper X here. This is the one game that you can like, it is very, very hard to play this team in that game. I'll pick G2 as my second team. I would like to think Foot. Foot will play a very, very close series with G2, actually. And I even think that series will be close. This is an insane group, dude. Like, Group D is so stacked, actually. The Quad China 4th is definitely not happening. <laughs> Bro, one of them is going through. I feel like one of these Chinese teams is going through. I don't know which. They're taking someone's lunch. They're eating that shit. You see Trace and Vitality beat Talent. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It, the Talent pick is a little bit crazy. The Talent, the talent pick by me is crazy. Like, I'm picking a team with a rookie new roster they played abyss i think twice off memory they played abyss twice and they changed comps they looked shaky the second time like i don't really have a lot that's telling me this other than i just think they've handled their opponents pretty well i think in stage two they looked good even in stage one they surprised me they look good they look organized when i tune into them and they they're willing to try shit that other teams haven't seen before i'm a back pilled as <sighs> i mean america's has looked a little weak this year i mean i think we'd be lying to ourselves if we didn't say that like even with sen winning madrid like i don't this is the first time I've, felt, I've not felt very good coming into Champions. Like, I don't feel great about it. Like, I don't feel super confident in Lev. Even though they look great domestically lately. Like, their ability to, like, play on the fly and, like, have King mid-round. It's going to be necessary deep in this event. And they haven't shown me they can do that yet. G2 is a team that I, I trust. But if they had, like, a fucking, like... If Icy plays played like he did all year, like he did like that last series or whatever, like, dude, I would be greening out for G2. I would love this team. But I worry. I, I worry because I know that like there's two two ways to win in Valorant. One is just shooting someone's head with like your duelist. Like someone like Ospal, someone like Paper X, like C Ned, like Hong Kong. Like these are options. The game has high variance in certain roles. And, like, these teams can up the variance by picking these duelists. And G2 is, like, the other style. They're very strategic. They're minimal risk. IC plays within a system, does everything they ask of him and more. But, like, throwing a wrench, like, these three wrenches into G2's machine? Holy f That could break it all. All right. This is what I'm going with, though, for my groups. For sure, getting 100%. Pretty much locked it in.